and we absolutely wrote a Snow White that she's is not going to be yeah. saved by the prince. She's not going to be saved by the prince, and she's not going to be dreaming about true love. If you talk shit, it's going to come back. There's something called cause and effect. We don't just sit around and say, yeah, we grew up watching this movie called Snow White in all these other countries, and all of a sudden you show up, and we have to. It would stop sending me death threats. Right. Every time that a celebrity gets like one DM that says KYS, they're like, I'm getting death threats. <laughs> Someone say. I never wanted to come off as me being ungrateful for the opportunities I have. I can also be having the greatest time and simultaneously wishing people would stop sending me death threats. The entertainment world has once again been rocked by disclosures, this time involving rising sensation Rachel Ziegler in a startling turn of events. Ziegler, who is well known for her mesmerizing performances in Bright Future, finds herself in the eye of the storm following an unexpected and contentious occurrence that has left her inconsolable. Big focus on her love story with a guy literally stalking her. How weird. Ziegler's life has taken a turbulent turn, leaving her dealing with the fallout of what many are calling the woke Disney scandal. Just as Hollywood was starting to embrace her as the next big thing, her reputation has been damaged professionally and negatively impacted in her personal life as a result of the occurrence. Ziegler is currently navigating uncharted waters and fighting an uphill struggle to restore her image and start again in her profession as more information about the incident comes to light. For a 2024 release, a new version of Snow White will star 22-year-old Rachel Ziegler as the title character and Gail Gadot as the film's villain. Ziegler has faced criticism, Though, as social media users posted excerpts from several interviews in which she criticizes the original Disney film, Ziegler has repeatedly called the prince a stalker and stated that the new version of Snow White won't be a love story, but instead would center on the character's ambitions to be a powerful leader. The videos were shared online by a number of TikTok users, including a portion of an interview with Variety in which Ziegler argued that the year was no longer 1,937. She won't be saved by the prince, and she won't be dreaming of true love in her interpretation of Snow White. The actress continued, I think my version of Snow White is one that is dreaming about becoming the leader I know I can be, and the leader my late father told me she could be if she was fearless, fair, brave, and true. Another video of Ziegler that has gone viral shows her speaking to Extra TV. The Disney D23 Expo in 2022, and she is obviously making fun of the iconic cartoon's 1937 version by joking that the plot of that cartoon was primarily a love story. She even implied that Snow White's royal love interest was actually a stalker, implying that the original movie was exalting that sort of conduct. So we didn't do that this time, she added. We have a different approach to what I'm sure a lot of people will assume is a love story, just because we cast a guy in the movie. Andrew Burnap is the actor who will play the movie's male protagonist. However, Ziegler admitted to Extra TV that all of Andrew's sequences might not make the final cut. This is Hollywood, after all. Ziegler has also been charged with hypocrisy for declaring she was terrified of the first movie while later being quoted as calling herself a Disney superfan. In another interview, she claimed that she was afraid of the ride's themes, but later admitted that she frequently rode the Snow White ride at Disney World. You're crying on that stage. When am I not crying I in public? It's so upsetting. Why were you crying? <laughs> oh my gosh, I saw the... the well, I didn't even, we didn't even it's see... We didn't even see, it's but I saw the logo and I went, that's my name, Snow White's up there, and I cried my eyes out. All of this has backfired on her since the original Snow White fans are furious with her for her opinions and how she is disparaging a beloved animated film that millions of people love. A number of individuals have criticized Ziegler's hypocrisy and blatant disdain on Twitter as well, with several responding in the last few days to the actor's revived statements. One Twitter user weighed into the discussion. Rachel Ziegler is single-handedly destroying this movie. My TikTok feed is full of PPL on all sides. Posting about her holier-than-thou crappy attitude is not okay. And Snow doesn't need to be modern. It's impressive how many people she's turned against seeing Snow White, bravo. A second argued, the fact that everyone is so unhappy with Rachel Ziegler and Snow White shows how everyone, not just conservatives, is done with the strong female lead trope. It's overdone and the girls are tired of it. Meanwhile, a third added Rachel Ziegler, A.K. Snow Woke, is one of the most smug new arrivals in Hollywood. She calls the original Snow White Prince a stalker. Has she even watched the original movies? Other users simply called for her new movie to be downright boycotted, writing, don't ever, ever go to the cinema to watch Snow White 2024. Don't support Rachel Ziegler. 
The same user made a very valid point when they said this. Let's get one thing straight. Adriana Casalotti walked so that you could run Miss Ma'am. This role would not exist for you if that role had not existed for her in 1937. Some fans expressed their betrayal and shed light on how much of a villain Ziegler had made of herself, saying Rachel Ziegler is so unlikable and people are taking notice. Another fan shared a similar sentiment. I know, it's kind of impressive how she is literally driving people away. Where are her handlers at all? Ziegler is in a state of panic because, as if all of this wasn't bad enough, even her celebrity co-workers are suddenly against her and seem to despise her. She has received criticism for her attitude from Patrick Bet David, who said, Oh shit, it's gonna come back. There's something called cause and effect. We don't just sit around and say, yeah, we grew up watching this movie called Snow White in all these other countries and all of a sudden... The, the characters or are, are, um, representatives that you're seeing of... of of yourself on screen yeah. are relatable or attainable. So it's totally. hard to develop some sort of- Imagine a glitzy time in 1937 when Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs greeted the silver screen with its captivating presence. This movie not only served as the foundation for Disney's animated empire, but also completely altered the norms of movie history. Walt Disney, the creative genius behind the magic, disregarded the doubters who laughed at the bold idea of a full-length animated film. Disney dared to dream large, despite the jeers and skepticism. And believe me when I say that this wasn't your average animated movie. It was the first cell animated motion picture in cinematic history. A stunning leap that not only turned the animation business on its head, but also paved the way for the Disney company that we know today. Consider this, Disney ventured into unfamiliar territory during a time when live-action movies predominated. Imagine the audacity. Oh, what a payoff it was, though. The movie Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs rose to the top of the silver screen, winning hearts all over the world. Its stunning animation, endearing characters, and music that transported viewers to a world of fairies enchanted audiences. You better hold on to your tiaras because there's more. Snow White wasn't only a movie, it also marked the beginning of the Disney princess craze. For countless generations of well-known princesses, each with her own goals and challenges to overcome, Snow White herself paved the way to the throne. It was a formula that had a profound effect on society and became ingrained in popular culture. But let's go on to the present day, when Rachel Ziegler, the new Snow White, has caused a commotion with her astonishment-inducing remarks regarding the first movie. Because this is where things get juicy. Hold your breath. A heated controversy has resulted from Ziegler's comments, and some fans are furious. Are you serious? It's like undermining a fairy tale's core foundation. Walt and Roy Disney, the fearless trailblazers, left behind a legacy that can only be described as legendary. To realize their ambition, they put everything on the line, including their houses and careers. They revolutionized entertainment as we know it, thanks to their audacity and unwavering belief. Now, think about this before you grab your pitchforks. It's possible that Rachel Ziegler's remarks show a misunderstanding of the enormity of achieving that milestone. Her statements undoubtedly stirred up some controversy, but they also serve to remind us of the delicate historical tapestry that gives these timeless works their distinct charm. For this reason, it isn't improbable to assert that Ziegler has not only destroyed her own career, but maybe possibly brought down Disney Studios along with her. Branding experts have cautioned that Rachel Ziegler's remarks regarding the planned live-action Snow White remake may have a significant effect on ticket sales. The high-profile Disney film is slated for release in March 2024, and it is now anticipated that management will have crisis meetings in order to seriously reduce damage after the bad reception to Rachel's position. In addition to being called a fake feminist, several detractors charged Rachel with gaslighting, and a marketing expert cautioned Disney to be careful with their portrayal of Snow White. According to branding expert Carla Spite, who has spoken to media outlets, while it is obvious that the original Disney princess movies uphold traditional values, Disney has fallen into the trap of using strong and loaded language to inspire audiences while actually going to the other extreme. Disney actors used to have media training and would consider the effect of their words while maintaining the film's main messages, but it appears that with this complete makeover of Snow White, their actors have started to regard her as a boss female. As the fallout plays out, it becomes clear that Rachel Ziegler's recent journey into contentious territory has caused quite a stir. Her woke remarks have put her career in jeopardy, 
raising questions about the effects on both her and the greater entertainment industry. The future of the film and its potential effects on Disney are both undetermined, so the way forward is still up in the air. The future of the aforementioned movie is still questionable. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to subscribe our channel for more Cella videos. Don't forget to like and comment. Also share it with friends and family.